Alright guys, today I've got another quick video here. This is going to be on my Tegra Note 7 and i uh, got some good news for you. Um, you've seen my unlock videos on how to unlock the bootloader, how to get root access, all that kind of stuff. Well, we finally have a custom recovery for you which is Clockwork, Clockwork Mod Recovery and it does work on this device. There are a couple quirks with it right now. It still has a little development to do on it, but it is functional enough and I will point out the little quirks that it has in it. Um, so, let's go ahead and get into this. Let me just show you what I've got right now. I'm running on this device. So, this is my tablet. It's got Android 4.3 on it, and it does have an unlocked bootloader. Um, so, prerequisite, like I was telling you, is an unlocked bootloader. So, if you're at this video and you're like, I want to install recovery, it's not yet. Go back, watch my unlocked bootloader video. I'll probably put an annotation over there. There'll be links in the video description for it, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you got an unlocked bootloader. You're going to need to have these ADB and fastboot files, which you'll download when you unlock your bootloader. And a lot of that will get pre-set up. So I'm not going to go through it too much, along with your drivers and things like that. We'll all be done when you unlock the bootloader. So we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to shoot over to my computer really quick here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug this device in, actually, before we do that. So here we go. There we go, it's plugged in. Let's see if I can get it around where you guys can actually see this thing. There we go, that's not bad. All right, cool. All right, so you're plugged in. Let's go to my computer and we're gonna run some commands over there. Okay guys, here we are on my computer. I'm basically in my file where I did the unlocking from, which is got this ADB EXE and this Fastboot EXE and you can see there's the root image we used last time when we rooted the device um, and now you don't have to do rooting device anymore first before you do an un you uh, do the recovery you just gotta get that unlocked bootloader and, and I'll show you how that's gonna function so here's where it is I don't care if you're in the same you know folders up here as I am you can use the Android SDK and go into platform tools and you'll have this or you can take the zip that I gave you guys in my last videos and it should work with these two, it should have these two files in it, the ADB and a couple of these ADB win stuff. So that's where you're going to want to be. Um, it's pretty simple from here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and download a quick file really quick, so let me show you that. You're basically going to come here to this XDA site, and I'll link this in the video description. And you're going to download this file right here, which I actually have already done and it basically here is it here in downloads so I'm going to copy this or actually cut it go back and paste it into the same directory you're in wherever your ADB and fastboot files are at whatever folder that is or directory and there's our recovery image so that's going to be our clockwork mod recovery image um, pretty simple not really hard to do and then we're going to run some commands to our device so let's open a command window by holding shift on our keyboard, right clicking, open command window here. We'll run a couple quick commands. First one is ADB devices. Push enter. And if your device is working correctly and you have the newest fast boot and ADB driver or software program, whatever you want to call it, you'll have a number here and it'll say device. So then we're going to reboot into bootloader mode. So ADB reboot boot loader and then hit enter and our device should reboot into bootloader mode. There you go, you can see it. You can see that we have an unlocked bootloader that says device unlocked. Obviously there's a prerequisite. And from here we're going to uh, flash over our clockwork mod recovery. Um, which is pretty cool. So we're going to type a quick command in our window. Make sure fastboot is working. So type in fastboot devices. Hit enter. And again, you should have a number and said fastboot. That proves that fastboot is functioning correctly also and your drivers are working. So now we can type in our next command. Fastboot flash recovery space recovery again 
file.img, which is this file right there. So fast boot, flash, recovery, and then this is the recovery image that's flashing. Once you got that in there, hit enter. And there you go, it flashed. So we're done on our computer. We can go ahead and close this out. And uh, we'll go down to our device. Okay, so on the device here, you're just going to use your volume keys. And go volume down, volume down, highlight recovery kernel, and then hit power. And that is going to boot into uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery that we just flashed. And then I'm going to show you the two quirks, three quirks maybe I could say that this thing has. Um, but it is still fully functional and you can use it for now. We are going to work on fixing them and then also um, work on what am I trying to say here? Twerp recovery for this device. So, as you can see, it is upside down. Now, it really doesn't bother me. It's very easy to flip this thing around and it looks fine. But everything is upside down on it because the top's up here. This is the camera right here. So just be aware of that. Um, backups do work, restores work, all that kind of stuff functions. The other quirk that this thing has, because it's upside down, now your your up is actually down and your down is actually up. So you're you're scrolling with your volume buttons, but it's backwards, which is just funny. And then power again is your select button. So we're gonna go in advance. I'm gonna show you something really quick too. Uh, most places um, store backups in. SD card, Clockwork Model Recovery folder, um, and then backups, and then the backup. Well, this one, let me show you, it says log right here. And it just talks about it really quick. So like I was saying, there's a, a log down here, and it normally would show you that they're not using SD card, um, Clockwork Mod as your backup location. It's now data media, and then that's your backup location. Maybe I'll even show it to you in ES file browser or something like that when we go back into the OS. But everything works from here. Uh, I'm going to go back really quick. Hit uh, at, And then the last thing I wanted to show you is now that we have recovery, you don't have to use that other um, way of flashing um, a boot image to get root access, which works fine. But now we can just flash Super Sue right here. So we go to install zip, choose zip from uh, SD, and then see here we can go to I think zero yep and then go to downloads and then we can just click that and it'll flash it and then say yes and it'll go ahead and install super user on your device um, I already actually still have that other route running on my device so I'm not going to do it but if you want to do it once you get your unlocked bootloader you get your recovery you can do flash the zip and I'll give you links to the zip too for getting super user on your device, root access. And then you're good to go. Pretty pretty uh, simple, not a hard deal at all. Go back out of it and then I'll go ahead and reboot system. Um, once you got your, or maybe before you do your root access, you might want to go in here and make a backup. So go to backups and then backup to SD card. Click that one once and you'll be uh, backed up. I already have a backup on my device so I'm not going to do that. But that's it. That's how you get a uh, recovery on your device. So let me reboot here really quick. And then say no. So the uh, little quirks on this device are basically um, that it's upside down. You can see now we're upside down again. Let me turn it around for us. Just an annoying quirk um, that it's upside down. Not really a big deal. Where it, mount, where it sends it to. So you can see here if I go into a file browser, you have to go to data media clockwork mod backup and then there's your your backup so it's, it's not a huge deal but that's where it's at and there you go that's it now you got clockwork mod on this device um we can hopefully get some roms going here soon and do some cool development you can do your hacks you know flash super suit maybe some modifications and stuff and feel safe about it and don't have to worry that you're gonna be uh in trouble or if something goes wrong you can always restore it so i did test backups everything looks good Hope you guys liked this little video of Clockwork Mod Recovery on the Tegra Note 7, and hopefully we'll have more coming soon. Talk to you guys later. Root Junkie out.